Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and turn that notification bell on. I am literally uploading back to back. Yesterday we did a full reveal of the Revolution and DC collection and today we are starting off our reviews of the individual palettes. So today, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be reviewing the huge face palette that is part of the collection this retails for 22 pound and it is massive <laughs> like i really hope you can understand the size of this it is actually huge the inside of it looks like this so i can actually <laughs> hold it up properly so as you can see it has some bronzes in there and um, it has some highlighters obviously you can use them as eyeshadows too and then it also has some eyeshadows in there let's just get straight into it let's do some swatches let's put in my eyes put in my face and let's see if it's worth the 22 pound price tag and let's see what you think of it as well so let's just get straight into it don't forget to subscribe by the way because i will be doing a review on every single one of the palettes from the dc collection i will be doing some different videos in between just because i have got a lot of videos that I need to get up so we're going back to back <laughs> we're going hardcore so let's just get straight into it let's do some swatches and let's put it in my eyeballs in my face <laughs> so this is all of the eyeshadow swatched oh my god some of these shimmers are like butter to the touch like so 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 soft so creamy like oh beautiful and then we have the bronzers from the first palette and then the highlighters Oh my god, the highlighters, as you can see from like when I've swatched them, they are like buttery smooth, like oh they are beautiful. So that's what the kind of face face part of the palette looks like. Obviously, you can use them for whatever you want. But yeah, that's kind of like the bronzers and highlighters. So I'm just starting by prepping the eye, just a little bit of the P. Louise base, because I have got a bit of foundation on my eyelid anyway. So I'm just popping a little bit on. So I'm going to take a Lily England 108 brush, like a bit of an angled kind of packing on brush. And I'm going to go in with the dark purple of the palette here. This darker one, this palette is so huge to hold up. <laughs> and I'm literally going to pick that up and I'm going to apply this in the outer and in a corner. Because I want to do a bit like a spotlight shimmer down the middle. So yeah, just focusing that on the inner part and the outer part of the eye. So now we've got a little bit of like a rough outline, I'm going to take a Lily England 101 brush and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm going to use this to blend out the edge of this darker purple. And I'm just going to do this on the inner and outer corner and then what I'll do is I'll go back in with the original brush and I'll start like adding the depth and the pigmentation back in from blending it all out okay so now that it's looking a little something like this i love how easy that just blended out like it just made my life so much easier <laughs> but i'm gonna go in with a shimmer for the inner part and honestly with this palette you could also do like a really really hot fiery like brown orangey kind of look like a really good autumn one but i just wanted to go in with the purples so i'm gonna go in with this pink shimmer this is intense like this is beautiful <laughs> So I'm going to literally just tap this down this middle bit here. Wow, okay, that is beautiful. And I'm just going to, not that it needs it really, but I'm just going to build it up because obviously it hasn't got like a base to stick to because we've put eyeshadow mainly in that bit and just left like a bit of a gap. So I'm just going to kind of add a bit, blend out a bit, add the purple back in, blend in the edges. All that kind of good stuff. And then we will try the bronzers and the highlighter. I love how this is turning out. It's such a simple look to do as well, like just so easy to do. I'm going to take a Lily England 107 brush, which is like a little small pencil brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade here. I'm going to use that as the inner corner and like brow bone highlight. This was intense when I swatched this, like so smooth, so intense. I'm going to do my inner corner first because. I don't want it super super intense for my brow bone because like wow <laughs> I don't think you can understand how intense this is and then obviously putting some under the brow as well I feel like the shimmers in this palette just really really make it stand out and I'm just gonna take the same brushes because I'm lazy <laughs> and I'm gonna put this underneath the lash line as well so just starting with the dark purple one I'm just gonna 
bring that across the lash line and then I'm going to take the little fluffy brush as well and use that one to blend it out. I haven't put anything extra on the actual brush, I've just used whatever's on it and I'm just going to kind of blow that out a little bit. So I will come back to the eyes but I really want to get some of this bronzer on my face. I'm going to take my Real Techniques blusher brush and I'm going to use that for bronzer and from the swatches I feel like this one and I know it looks very orange but on the swatch it didn't look like that at all but I feel like this one and the lightest one are going to be like my kind of mixture but when I swatched them I don't know I feel like they, they looked a lot more wearable so I'm literally just going to do a dip and dab <laughs> between the two I'm going to tap off some on the back of my hand and let's just see what this is like you all know I'm very very fussy when it comes to bronzer okay I think I want a little bit too light handed maybe a bit too scared <laughs> for it so let's see oh well, that's a weird noise my laptop's never made before okay let's see what this is like you know that is actually really really nice it's probably just a little bit too maybe i picked up too much of the warm one maybe it's just like a little bit too warm for me maybe I don't know, is it ever such a thing when it comes to me for a bronzer to be too warm? I always go over the top anyway. Okay, I take it back. This bronzer is so nice. And I like how dark the bronzer goes as well in the collection. I feel like it is quite a nice range. But obviously that's just coming from me and my skin tone. So it might be... Let me just mute my laptop because it's making very funny noises. It might be totally different for other people. Like I don't know whether that lighter shade would be light enough for Alex, I'm not too sure because obviously I've mixed it with the warmer one um, as well and whether the dark one's going to be dark enough for some people, I can only really speak for myself so if you are um, obviously a different kind of skin colour to me, um, please let me know like would this work for you just so I can get a bit of an understanding of other people's perspectives as well. I'm always up for a little bit of feedback, what you think about the palettes and stuff in my comments. So I'm just going to pop some on my neck as well. But I am really, really, really happy with that. I think Lizzie is going to love this palette, my Patreon Lizzie. I think she's going to absolutely love it. So that's a bronzer on. Very, very happy with that. I was debating using the shimmery pink as a blusher. But after swatching it, it's going to be way, way, way too intense as a blusher. I don't want to ruin my look. So I'll pop some blusher on. Let's see what I've got. Um, should we stay with the theme and go revolution? Should we do? Yeah, let's do, um, this is the Flamingo one, I think, I think I'm just going to go for a mixture of this one and this one. I don't want to go too, too, too pink. I'm just going to go over a mixture of the two, tap off the excess, and then pop some of this on my cheeks, just to add a little bit of colour. This purple on this, on my eye, looks beautiful. I really, really hope the camera is like doing it justice. And it was just so easy to blend out. I'm very, very impressed so far. I didn't think I was going to like this palette in, like before I, I got it. I didn't think it'd be one that I would personally have gravitated towards. But when I opened it, I was like, my God, this is like, it reminds me a lot of me and Lizzie. I feel like it's a very Lizzie and Lucy palette. So um, yeah, I can understand, I understand why they've done this now. I, I totally get it. Um, it is big though, so if you have got quite a big collection, it might be a bit of a pain for you to store it, but you know, it's what it is. I'm just looking for my highlighter brush. I've moved my desk around, so I'm 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 just adapting. I think I need to use move this mirror, put him over there, because he's just in my way at the moment. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with this lightest one out of the four large ones. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that because again, when I swatched this, it was so ridiculously pigmented, like crazy pigmented. Okay, it's nice, it's a little bit, I think a bit too light for me, so I'm gonna take a mixture of the one that we've used for the brow bone in the inner corner, oh, excuse me, hiccups, and do like a little mixture of the two when it comes to my cheeks. Oh, wow, okay, okay. <laughs> If I do keep looking down here, it's because I'm waiting for a really, really important phone call from a friend. So that's why I keep I keep looking. I do apologise, but I can't put my phone on loud because so you'll hear all my stuff going off. But I need to keep an eye on it just in case she needs me. So yeah, I'm just going to pop some of this 
on my cheeks very 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 beautiful and then it's going to take a mixture of the two again pop some on my nose a little bit up here on my lip that is what that highlighter looks like oh made it grow out of focus that is beautiful and by mixing the two it completely stops having that um kind of line of of darkness and so maybe it could have been good if that lighter highlighter in the palette was maybe just a bit lighter because as you can see in the tones it's just a little bit lighter than this one so maybe like one that was like even even lighter than this but obviously you can just mix it like how, how I have with the lightest eyeshadow and it just worked really 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 well so that is what that looks like so I'm going to put on some mascara I'm going to put on a little bit more on my brows a lip um, product and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on this palette and whether you need to pick it up or not and yeah I'll see you in a memento so this is the completed look I would love to know what you think down below if you're wondering what my lip combination is it's the MAC Saw lip liner and MAC creme cup lipstick as you can tell I love this piece this is like my ultimate pink kind of lip duo like it's just my absolute favorite so if you're looking for a nice kind of pinky lip combination I would highly recommend but yeah this is the finished look I'd love to know what you think down below I am so incredibly impressed with this palette like ridiculously impressed with how it's turned out I'm really impressed with the bronzer I feel like I'm very very harsh on bronzer um and I don't really kind of praise bronzer all that much to be honest with you but very 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 impressed with this so yeah this is my full review of the first palette from the DC collection I would love to know what you think down below is it something that you're going to pick up? Have you already picked it up? Have you tried it? What do you think? Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. I think if you are going to use a palette like this and you would use and reach for a palette like this for bronzer and highlighter, it is 100% worth the price tag. Considering like my two favourite bronzers of all time cost more than this palette by itself and that's just for the bronzer, it's definitely worth the money if you are going to get your use out of the face products in here as well as the eyeshadows. And obviously it has the mirror on one side as well. So obviously you can use that, but it depends whether you have the storage space for this. Because I'm aware that it is quite a big palette, but that also is the reason why it is 22 pound as well. So depends what you're after. I'd love to know what you think down below. What do you think of the finished look? Don't forget to hit subscribe because there's gonna be a new video coming tomorrow. Let me know as well, which palette do you want me to review tomorrow? Because I need to know so I can get filming because I literally will film it tomorrow and get it up tomorrow night. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully we'll see you in a brand new video. Welcome to my family if you are new here as a subscriber. I do also have a 12,000 subscriber giveaway coming very, very soon, but I've just got a lot of other videos that I need to get out before then. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for another Batman video. Thank you so much. Bye.